Today we're in the 2016 Scion IM. Um, this is a 1.8 liter four cylinder, uh, 137 horsepower, uh, six speed manual and automatic transmission depending on which one you want. Available six speakers, uh, seven inch touchscreen with backup camera. Figure out more on the drive. Let's go. Let's go. Um, a lot of people think with the 1.8 liter that it's gonna be decently slow, but the communication between the motor itself and the transmission is uh, fairly responsive. So it kind of makes up for that for the the smaller motor, and uh, it kind of puts a little bit in the keeps the mix with the competition with the larger motors and and horsepower wise because the Ford Focus um, is around 160 horsepower, 170, and uh, a lot of the other competitions have about 30 horsepower more. And people want to say that you know it has better performance and and stuff like that based off of the larger motor and better horsepower, but the communication between the motors itself is absolutely terrible. So what we lack in horsepower, we pick up in performance with the transmission. So that's an added bonus for this car. Yeah. yeah. Rides well, pretty smooth. Yeah, for how low it is, this can actually get lower. Uh, TRD is who uh, Toyota goes through. It's Toyota Racing Development and they use TRD for all their Scion parts for aftermarket. So the TRD coilovers, they're not necessarily coilovers, but the lowering springs themselves will lower this up to almost a whole inch. And um, it adds with performance. And this, one of the plus sides to this car itself, before actually any modifications, is the fact that it handles very well. Interior compared to normal Scions is a lot better than what it used to be. Um, Kind of like a mix between like a coral and a matrix type feel to it. Um, the body kit definitely helps a lot. I definitely do not, would not want to see this without a body kit. <laughs> I'm so glad that's standard. And on the interior, I was looking at this touch screen. It's a wide touch screen. You know, seven inches. And uh, the whole dash itself isn't all plastic. It's all composite type uh, leather material. They had a little bit of plush with the, the white bar. So hopefully when we get on the freeway, we'll be able to tell performance-wise um, for acceleration and things like that. It's a uh, CVT-I-S transmission. Um, the I is intelligence and the S is for the sport mode. There we have. Right there. So this is following more suit with a lot of Toyota stuff, which is pretty nice. Um, it has the same basic format when it comes to uh, suspension. So the suspension on this is a wishbone, which comes standard, of course. The freeway. And 60. Which isn't bad. I mean, we're starting off on about 20 mile an hour start. So this comes around probably around like a 6.4 to uh, 7 second range when it comes to 0 to 60. Uh, that's without sport mode. Um, I don't want to say that that's slow, but honestly, you don't really need anything, I guess, when it comes to a Toyota brand car or a Scion brand car. You don't really need anything that'll get you 0 to 60 in like 4 seconds. You don't, you don't honestly don't need that, especially around Columbus area. Um, decent on and off ramps, nothing really needed to uh, accelerate hard or anything like that. It's the same type of safety. Um, regulations, I want to say, as the star safety system for Toyota. Um, it's just not called that for Scion. Um, they haven't really named, like, brand named the star safety system for Scion itself yet, but they say basically that that's exactly what it has. Um, you know, vehicle stability control, brake assist, all the lovely five points of star safety. Yeah, the pickup, anything over 4,000, 4,500 RPMs, this car really likes. The uh, pickup's very, actually a lot more responsive than I kind of remembered. Uh, so anything, the car really likes 4,000 RPMs. And I've noticed that also in the manual shift that they extremely like, kind of even like FRS. A lot of, a lot of Scions like that 4,000 RPM range, just based off of experience with them. It's a gas mileage in this guy. It's 28 city and 37 freeway. So you're averaging around like, a, well, it's actually 32. 
um, which is pretty darn awesome, especially for considered a a subcompact sports type uh, type vehicle. Um, you can redline this thing all day, which is nice, and you're still going to get decent gas mileage. Keep in mind, it is still a Toyota motor, so you still have the same reliability, same everything, and uh, you also get the same type of service warranties and stuff like that as uh, Toyota does, but they call it like a Scion version. But we're going up to campus, and um, our braking technology that we have here, you can say that, uh, they're all four disc brakes, um, no drums. What's nice about the IM, I do like that they have all discs. Um, like this, this car has dog accessories. Like that's how far into it they've gone. What are some of the accessories? Like, what they, like they got like a dog harness, there's a dog harness. Wow. There's actually a, like the fake grass type, type deal yeah. that keeps them off the armrests <laughs> that Scion makes wow. for the, like, that's just, that's insane, I don't even know about that. Yeah, they, and they have like, uh, of course, like, like the, the tote, not necessarily totes, but like stuff for like the dogs, yeah. uh, accessories and stuff like that. This song fits the car. <laughs> First person to watch this video and comment what the sample is, what the original song is, will win a $10 Chipotle gift card from me. You can't keep running. What do they gotta do? You gotta comment on the video on, on YouTube and name the name of the group singing the song and the name of the song. Where I heard it. It's a good way to end that. Uh, we're gonna get some food. So, see you guys later. Later, guys. You're a beautiful picture of downtown. You are, aren't you? Alright, so now we're back from lunch. Uh, we've had some some good quality time thinking about the, the IM. Yeah. Kind of to a point. <laughs> but uh, after your experience in the IM as a passenger, how do you feel on a scale for, for stars wise, one through five stars, what would you rate the passenger Cyanar? Experience. Pass yes, passenger experience based off of like comfortability, uh, the way that it drives, based off of features. hitting bump features and I, uh, I sound no system. No complaints about it. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't want to sound biased, but I give it five stars. You know, it's I, I like the features here of I can adjust the temperature. You know, dual on my side control? of the car, yeah. I like that the dual climate control is very. Uh, you know, because people are different. Some people are hot. Some people are cold all the time. For me, I, I get hot very easily. So being able to have that yeah. uh, definitely beneficial. I like having control over the, uh, the stereo system, and I like it. You know, it's smooth ride, no hard bumps. I didn't get car sick anywhere, even though you like the floor. Uh, some other cars we've been in, I've gotten car sick. I didn't get car sick in this one. Um, so I like the IM. The IM is five stars in my book. Uh, for those that are rating it, you know, half of that, I don't think they know what they're talking about, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, based off of a driver's viewpoint and standpoint, I don't want to exactly give it five stars. Um, I think I'll push in the four, four and a half star range. Um, of course, no cars for me on the driving side, 100% perfect. Uh, I do like all the standard features. It's super nice, uh, especially if you're trying to get in that smaller garage. You have your uh, uh, automatic fold-in mirrors. Just by hitting a button, they'll, they'll turn right in. That's real nice on a, on a small garage point because I have a smaller garage. It's nice to be able to fit that in there. Um, basically, the drive, though, is super smooth. Um, you can tell that it's a wishbone type suspension, um, especially when you're hitting certain certain bumps, maybe when you're going at a little bit higher speed or uh, maybe just speed bumps at low end speeds, you can tell that it's uh, a good flex. Uh, this, I like the pickup. It's not over the top, but like I said, I don't expect that out of a 1.8 liter. Right. Like, I mean, <laughs> like let's let's be realistic about it. Um, we're not expecting 50 home runs. Exactly. I'm not, I, have, I have a 300 ZX at home. I'm not expecting a 300 ZX. <laughs> like, right. I get in this car and I feel exactly what I expect out of it. Um, and it's a good thing. Um, weird, I, right? Yeah, weird, right? Sounds weird, right? Um, 
overall though yeah i like i like the toyota setup that they have going on here really easy to use i'm super familiar with it the steering wheel is very very similar to it's, yeah. it's the same steering wheel as the corolla it's super comfortable um same exact steering wheel actually yeah so i'm i'm used to it and um it's super easy to get used to even if you want so overall yeah 4.5 anything and else for those watching if you can name the song Another $10 Chipotle gift card. We'll see you guys next time. Later.